Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video, doing the extended European Outlook for today's second video. So, as was on a Wednesday, although very shortly, these videos will be going back to Tuesdays, actually. But for the time being, as always on a Wednesday, uh, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the next 30 slash 42 days across Europe. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first, the video details our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We could be live at 6 p.m. Could be live streaming our day to morning there, and then straight up battle. I mean, like, imminently within seconds of the uh, live stream ending, we will, of course, be releasing the fourth and final Christmas 2024 Sneaky Pinky! Do, do, do. So it's going to be a very uh, interesting and exciting day coming up at Gals Office again today. Please like, share, and subscribe on all our days, videos, content, and live streams. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And thank you so much to ECM.io.it for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, GC. Right, starting off with week one, uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly for Europe taking us through the week that we're currently in, the uh, 21st to the 28th of October. So low pressure is in the North Atlantic, heading into the far north of Europe. Otherwise, high pressure through most of the central northern Atlantic, reaching in across Europe as well. Plenty of high pressure all over the place this week. 500 millibar height anomaly shows below average heights around Greenland and Iceland, but also a big ridge through the Atlantic into western and also northern and also central Europe. There is a trough in the extreme eastern portion of Europe. Right, so let's have a temperature anomaly looking uh, this week. A much uh, milder or even more an average week compared to average or northern Europe. <coughs> Oh, sorry, if one that's where the core of the warp is going to be uh, this week, between 3 and 6 degrees above average, quite widely, through both Scandinavian, Nordic and Baltic Sea state regions. Um, we also see some very mild weather here, uh, just to the north of Italy, in towards the Alpine area, Austria, Hungary, and uh, down into Italy itself. Again, three to six degrees above average through there. Large portions of the UK and Ireland have uh, mild and average temperatures to come. France is a bit of a dividing line. Eastern France, mild and average. Western France, a little bit cooler. And then Spain and Portugal generally coming out slightly on the cooler side as well. Corsica, Sardinia, Italy, quite warm. And then into the far eastern portion of Europe, anywhere from um, A, Romania to the Black Sea, and then southwards in towards Turkey in particular, and one or two of the Greek islands, uh, a little bit cooler than average, or colder than average even, across uh, uh, across Turkey into the far southwest of Russia. Right, well, let's have a look at the uh, precipitation anomaly, I should say. So, lots of regional variation. We start off with uh, generally dry conditions through most of Spain and Portugal, though east of Spain looks a little bit more unsettled. The central pole of the bed to Italy, with above average of rainfall coming through there, and then the eastern portion of the bed, again, including Greece and Turkey, largely dry up and normal. Those dry up and normal conditions extend up the eastern side of Europe, right the way from, like, the Balkans to the Black Sea, and then northwards in towards um, the Baltic Sea states, and going further north of that, in towards uh, southern parts of Scandinavia, so that's like Denmark and southern Sweden, and into uh, parts of Finland and uh, northwestern Russia as well, Baltic Sea states including Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania. Now to the far northwest it's a little bit more unsettled, so we have got Norway here coming out largely uh, with above average precipitation, of course that would be a mix of rain up about to series snow, and then into the UK and Ireland. Well, most areas average are a bit dry than normal, but it is quite wet in extreme northwest of Scotland and towards northern parts of Ireland. And northern France also coming out on the wetter than average side as well. Right, well, that's week one done. Week two will be the 28th, October to 4th of November. So uh, this week finds high pressure out in the Atlantic and around back through the wind in for a more of a northwest direction. We have got low pressure in the southern and southeastern portion of Europe as well. The 500 millibar 
heights looking like that with above average heights again out to the Atlantic lower pressure through here 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 and some higher pressure up to the far uh, east and northeast temperature anomalies then getting cooler into the beginning of November for western parts of Europe a sway but below average temperature anomalies covering uh, much of the UK particularly England and Wales also the low countries Belgium hold level and large portions of Germany into France, Spain, Portugal, and through much of the central bowl of the include the holiday islands of Mallorca, Mallorca, Ibiza, the Balearic Islands, Corsica, Sardinia, and also into Italy as well. Not cool and average everywhere, so anywhere like east of Italy and the Balkans. Uh, is uh, going to be a bit warmer, especially in this northeastern current. So, again, sort of northern Sweden, northern Finland, Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, and Belarus as well, coming out with above average temperature and dominance. Also, around the Black Sea uh, as well, we see above average temperature and dominance there. A bit of a warm up through Turkey and at some of the Greek islands also. And precipitation wise, so the driest weather. It's close to the high pressure across western parts of Europe. Again, that will include uh, Ireland, the UK, France, Spain, Portugal, uh, driving up as you bear. Wetter conditions through the central portion of the Mediterranean and towards Italy, over the age, Atlantic, the Balkans, down towards uh, uh, Greece as well. Wetter than normal conditions through there. Northwards, we see wetter than average conditions or above average precipitation through eastern parts of Germany and western Poland. And then uh, above average precipitation north of that into our Scandinavia and Nordic regions. That will be a mix of rain and snow depending on elevation. Week three will be the fourth to the 11th of November. So a high pressure going further north into the North Atlantic with a blocking feature setting up around uh, Iceland, between Scotland and Iceland now. Higher pressure also into northern and uh, northeastern parts of Europe as well. 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that with a large area of above average heights from the Atlantic taking over into northern and also western portions of Europe. What about the temperature anomaly? Oh, that starts to lift up a little bit in the far uh, west. So I'm the UK, go back to slightly above average temperatures. And uh, again, large portions of Scandinavia, Nordic regions coming out above average as well. As far south, as you a little bit above average you bear. But not everywhere above average. You've got uh, Spain, Portugal, southern France, into the bear. A bit cooler than all there. North Africa, also a little bit cooler than average. And the extreme eastern portion of Europe, a little bit cooler. We are weakening on single course because we're now three weeks out. Precipitation wise, showing lots of dry weather all the way from Ireland, France, the UK in the west, right way over to Russia in the east. Also, a little bit more unsettled again for Norway and the southern parts of Europe, including the Mediterranean, might be somewhat more showery. Two. Okay, well, week four will be the 11th to the 18th of November. And a bit of a sign of some high pressure building around Greenland there. Low pressure uh, otherwise covering many parts of Europe. What about the uh, 500 millibar heights? So, again, we see some high pressure in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland. Bit of a shot in the northeast of Europe, too. Temperature anomalies for week four. Um, don't really above average, should be southern parts of Europe and many central east areas, perhaps a little bit cooler in the far west and northwest, quite a weak signal, and precipitation looks like that, so driving average conditions in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland Island, that's where high pressure is sitting, uh, wet average through much of France, Spain, Portugal, um, and that might extend over towards east and north, eastern portions of Europe as well, UK and Ireland, sort of in between, in between Really, the, the dry dishes up here, wet dishes through here, and into uh, the far southeastern corner of the bed, of the bed, a little bit drier through there. Right, that's your 30 day look okay, done. Let's go to weeks five and six data before we go, because why not? So, week five will be the 18th, 25th of November. Uh, very weak signal there for a mean cell pressure anomaly, 500 millibar heights, also looking. Pretty weak <laughs> as well. Uh, temperature anomaly is just generally a little bit above average, near or to slightly above average in most areas. And precipitation wise, again, such a weak signal 
can't regain anything of use. And then finally, week six, between 25th of November to 2nd of December, into the very beginning of December, and also me, Josh, you look winter, 24-25. Here it is. And again, very weak still, just some higher pressure down across the med, perhaps extending in, extending in from the Azores. 500 middle bar heights look like that. So we have got some blocking on the Canadian side of Greenland, particular up here, and some higher pressure down here. Otherwise, uh, not much to be working with. The temperature anomaly, about average a little bit above again, and rainfall-wise, precipitation Wise, started to go a bit more unsettled in the north and the west of Europe, maybe. That's signalling some uh, low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic for the start of the winter. Who knows? Well, it's one way up, so not worth worrying about. Right, that's your first day. Look, okay, done and does it. If you've enjoyed the forecast, please do like, share, subscribe. We do it all over again um, next week as well, by the way. So uh, I'll, uh, I'm so sorry, everyone. Uh, I'll uh, have the Excel you it out for you. Uh, next week. Remember, we'll look at this model again on Friday evening with a UK and Ireland focus video. So that's going to be uh, pretty epic. And I said that'll be coming up on Friday. But you take the 14 day live stream at 6 pm this evening. Straight after that, the fourth and final Christmas sneaky peaky is all happening at Gaz Weather this day. So keep checking back for more. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.